The Jessamine County Homeless Coalition will soon be opening their Center for Growth and Hope to expand their services and address the drastic need in the community. Here to talk about the center is Johnny Templin and Ann Nip. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yes. thank you. So how did the Jessamine County Coalition get started? Um, for me, it started out as a, a, a faith-based uh, weight loss journey that led me to Christ in early 2013. Through that, I discovered things like food insecurity and food deserts, and uh, well, along with some great supportive friends and, and a church base, we started a food pantry in late 2015 mm -hmm. that led into seeking what was next. That was called Walking with Love Food Pantry, and uh, out of that time of prayer and careful consideration, it was painfully obvious that it was time to open up a, a shelter, the need that existed big mm -hmm. time in our town. And from that uh, mid-2000, or the end of 2015, yeah. we started trying to find a location, and we ended up getting this together and opening it in the day after Thanksgiving in 2016. We've served 1,900 residents. Wow, in, that's a lot. In that eight years. So, and with a... Uh, 33% success rate of those exiting our 90-day program with income and housing when they leave. So it's pretty... That's quite an accomplishment. Yeah, for a bunch of old rednecks, absolutely. <laughs> and this new center provide even more resources. Yeah, yeah. so we, we knew going in that, uh, that is it, you know, we I, I used to say to be a mature shelter, we needed to add services, enhance what we do. It was mm -hmm. more than just a bed. It was about connecting them with the resources and the skill sets to get back out in life. Uh, mm -hmm. And that looked very hard in the beginning, but we, we knew like uh, supportive housing or uh, 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 treatment-based things, whether it's for addiction or, or trauma-based mm -hmm. stuff, and case management was incredibly needed. Uh, after January 2000, mm -hmm. last year, the... Uh, we started noticing numbers drastically increase, almost twice for domestic violence and really? and, and uh, mm -hmm. not only just identifying with it, but actual paper in our county. It, it almost doubled uh, after two years in the pandemic. So wow. that kind of is what birthed this. We knew we mm -hmm. was helping those individuals, but it was in a, not a great way. So uh, mm -hmm. the Center for Growth and Hope's come out of it. And when we get there, we'll have services new to our county for veterans, domestic violence, part of the statewide network, uh, mm -hmm. individual women with children's units, and, and a substance use program, uh, along with our 90-day homeless program. And we had that all in one building. We'll be able to serve about 78 people there. So. Yeah. That's great. We'll have to make it out once you all open. Yes, yes, please. We're getting close, <laughs> getting close, hopefully. Uh, yeah, just yeah. got back our last, uh, uh, I guess you call it approval thing that comes through the state where uh, now we can do the final touches on the construction and mm -hmm. waiting for our, our credentialing to come back and we'll be open for business. Uh, but right now our residents are getting the services they need Good. with our contracted uh, providers right now outside the facility, which is Good. the most important. Sorry, not to and Ann, no, 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 you are <laughs> fine. And Ann, what's yeah. your what's your involvement with this? Right. So I put on um, local events um, mm -hmm. that supports the shelter, and then um, I'm director of development with the shelter. So mm -hmm. um, I just help make those connections and help educate um, the community on what um, the shelter is doing and what the Center for Growth and Hope will do. And I know there's some events coming up that are pretty special. There are. What's really great about um, <laughs> even just the Homeless Coalition and the Center for Growth and Hope is not only do they provide those um, opportun um, opportunities for individuals in the community, they also provide special events, right, for our community, those that you may not need the services. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're just fun, right? They're fun. And then they financially support the shelter, which helps us provide more services to people that need them. Uh, so we do. We have a couple of upcoming events. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, a father-daughter dance um, that a couple of years ago, uh, a lot of people in the community just reached out mm -hmm. to us and said, hey, pull this off. We want this. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have that coming up in February. And then in March, we're introducing um, a His Queen dance, which is oh. a mother-son date night. Um, so it's Cute. also a dance, but um, there's many father-daughter dances right around the state. But this one's going to be pretty special to that mother and son um, opportunity for the night. So a couple of those coming up and you can mm -hmm. find all that information um, on our website as well. 
Yes. Yeah, how yeah. can how can folks learn more? Absolutely. So um, the website is jchcky.org. Um, mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we've got tiesandtierras.com. Um, you can purchase yeah. those there as well. Um, that's what the father-daughter dance is. And then mm -hmm. the His Queen dance um, as well. So I like the His Queen. I've, I haven't actually heard of that before. Yeah. Growing up, it was the father-daughter. So that's awesome that there's that option too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody that's wanting more specific information for the Center for Girls mm -hmm. and Hope, it's it's the center for or growth and hope dot com yeah, straight right. and that'll be specific to that. Right. And right. everything is connected there, so it's easy to to get more information on where you can help the shelter right now and the current needs and future yes. needs, and then also get plugged into the the current events. All right, thank you both so much for coming in. Really appreciate it, and I love how we're all matching. We didn't plan this. <laughs>